it's not paved at the hangar pit? No, apparently it's, it's not going to be like the, uh, the M4. We can only hope. It's the coldest day of the year, apparently. Yeah, the dude said minus four in Dubbo. You need a hand? I'm going to try to do it. I'm just... Oh, gosh. I'll warm up, thank you. Where are you going? You're going to get warmed up at least. Yep. Oh, forget about that. When you pull back and you get to the furthest part, then hold the front brake and then do it again. So it doesn't roll forward. Mm -hmm. and then I can't look at my toes. I don't have enough grip. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I see what you mean. Uh, You're vertically challenged. I'm vertically challenged. Just a couple of images, eh? Oh, you got it? Yeah, just doing my little trick. <laughs> Let's roll. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit hot. Oh, aren't you cooking up? Getting warm. Yeah. Crap. There won't be a lot of room in here for my stuff. Fourteen down. Two eighty-six to go. Are you getting cold? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened, babe? I'm cold. One jacket too many taken off. So we went about two kilometres without our jackets on. That's his hunger food, baby. <laughs> oh man, I always missed it. We were excited because we thought we only had 110 kilometers to Hungerford and then we spoke to a guy at the service station he said oh don't listen to the GPS and he told us go up that way for eight kilometers and then turn left. Turn left. Well not don't lift, listen to the GPS but the default one the shortest route isn't any good because they've had rain but just go up there eight k's turn left and go the the other route and you should be good so we thought all right we'll start going down that road the GPS will update. We got to the 8k mark and we're like where's this left turn and then Jason puts it in the GPS there's a left turn about 70 kilometers down the track instead of 110 k's away it's 260 k's away it's doing this big hook around to get the hunger and we thought Jesus <laughs> Jesus <laughs> and then we would soaking in that information coming to terms with it and almost didn't notice the sign that's maybe 10 k's down the road we went straight past it and all and tina's like holy, holy shit. shit there's a left turn wait that's it says hungerford, it says hungerford. <laughs> 85 k's so we just saved ourselves yes hours hours, hours. so we had yep. to stop and record this moment this is awesome <laughs> Tini's upset. She broke. She dropped her helmet. And she broke the GoPro mount. Okay. So everything's everything's stuff now. <laughs> Bubba. It's because I was rushing. I'm trying to get on the bike. Before Roger's batteries ran out so we could get a drone show. So it's my fault, really. That's right. Yeah. But it's okay, because we've got the we got the tool for the job. I told you. Okay. <laughs> duct tape, apparently, duck, will duct fix tape. it. It's going to fix it. It's going to fix it right up. You'll see. What was that? Oh. It's hot. <laughs> We're already complaining about the heat. It is hot, though. About 10 kilometers from the border? Yeah, from Queensland. Oh, yeah. Jeez, I miss the cold weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and let the wind begin. Ourself. It feels like we're in the outback now. Lots of red dirt everywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All clean. All clean. Well, clean at least all clean. I am. <laughs> I showered this morning. Good for a couple of days. <laughs> so camp set up. Broken stuffs fixed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Ready to check out the town and then eat. On the plus side, we've got pretty good light for our shooting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's good light or if it's like fluorescent light. Oh, you can light. see us anyway. Anyway, total fail. Total fail on the uh, camp setup location. We uh, didn't check that uh, <laughs> there's a light right above where our tent is. Plains, 15 kilometers. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, we open the gate. Charlotte Plains Station. It looks pretty cool. We're just looking for uh, just on the search foraging for some firewood now. Yeah. I think that bit looks probably a little bit too, too big. No. Yeah. It's no. Stuck. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon that one looks pretty big we as well. Probably be careful of uh, snakes. Yeah. You hold this. I'll try to pick it up. <laughs> nah, that's stuck. That's not going anywhere. I'm going to put on my fire collecting gloves. It's not going anywhere, seriously. I'm very excited. Good to have a superhuman strength. You're no. correct. <laughs> <laughs> Search continues. I think we found a good chunk, chunk of here. I could probably carry that back. Piece. Yeah, look at that. It's a great piece. My wife, the bushwoman. Yeah. <laughs> Found a good one, but I think it's a two man job. It is liftable, but a little bit far for one person. I found one. We need two people there. I was going to try to uh, throw it on my shoulders and bring it back Arnie style in commando, but I couldn't. <laughs> but it was too heavy. But this is just a bit insane. Is it? Yeah, it's too big. Oh, jeez. Maybe you're right. Go big or go home, I say. Looks like I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, and that one's a good one too. Yeah, I was going to take that one too. There, yeah, now break it into pieces. <laughs> Just break it. Here, I'll stand on this end. You jump on that other end. On this end? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Fucking dumb and dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going through my pile that I just made? Collateral vanity. No, I don't think I've got a good pile going. This one? Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Ah! Something is biting me. Goodbye. So these are the the bars. The bars. How the water, cool are they? The water's coming from underground, so it comes yeah. out at 42 degrees Celsius. <laughs> it's so clever, Kane. Yeah. It's awesome. Not actually that bad. Getting out. Yeah. Yeah. Quite refreshing. And I think my, te my toe is healed. It was really swollen earlier, and now look, it's only like half swollen. You're basically ready to be a foot model. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Jason, eh? Look at this guy. He's living in the outback now. Come on. <laughs> my thong's broke. In Hall's Gap. Oh, Baba. Come on, that, that's that is a perfect candidate for a duct tape fix. Come Do you on. know how heavy this is? I just don't think no, it's going to fix tape, it. It's rock solid. We could we could tape this whole bike together if it broke. Trying to fix Tina's broken GoPro mount now. So these are the these are the pieces. There's the pieces that are broken up. And here are the tools that we've got to fix it. The duct tape, the scissors, that is all. Look at that, the finished product. Better than you, you say? I agree. <laughs> it's a nice